Studio Podcast. Six days in San Francisco, six stories, 12 artists. <laughs> Studio Godcast. Today on Talmud Tales, who would have thought the destruction of Jerusalem would come in this way? Dude, my party stinks. What happened to Kamsa? That guy's awesome. I sent him the invite. Hey guys, thanks for the invite. What the? Bar Kamsa? You have to leave, man. We wanted Kamsa. Nobody really likes you. In fact, you're my worst enemy. Oh, yeah. I'll pay the cover. Psst. No way. I'll pay for all of the party. Seriously, bro. Just leave. The rabbis didn't say I had to leave. <laughs> Can you believe the rabbis let this happen? I'll show them. No, no, no. We can't sacrifice this calf. Bar Kamsa totally blemished it. That Caesar will be insulted if we don't sacrifice his offering. Sacrifice it is. Sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice. Hey, sacrifice. Yo, not cool, guys. It's blemished. What will the neighbors think? We don't want to start a trend. Or... We could just kill Bart Kamsa. Yeah. If we don't kill him, he's going to run back to the Romans. Can cause a war. Rabbis, chill out. Is he who blemishes to be put to death? I don't think so. Let's just leave Bar Kamsa alone. What's the worst that could happen? Next time on Talmud Tales. Because the rabbis don't kill Bar Kamsa, he informs against the Jews, and Caesar sends an army to attack Jerusalem. The rebels want to fight the Romans, but the rabbis just want to negotiate peace. The rebels try to compel the rabbis to fight by burning their food and fuel. So a cunning rabbi named Yochanan ben Zakkai convinces his nephew, the rebel leader, to let him escape the city in a coffin, pretending to be dead. The temple is destroyed, and everyone is really sad, but... Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai convinces the Roman general to save Rabbi Gamliel and gets permission to build an awesome school called Yavna. <laughs>